What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Louisiana. So to remind, mind you where we left off, we've got the Mughal Empire on the ropes, but they've actually put together a little task force that could cause some problems. Um, but what I think my strategy strategy is, is that I've currently got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14 units. So I've got 6, 6 units will come in to reinforce me. So I think if I do something like, let's pick the four strongest infantry units and then dump the howitzers in, they're going to be pretty fundamental to my uh, future success. And let's probably dump some odd units of cavalry in and infantry in. So I think my main objective is to deploy my army, then wherever the reinforcements come in, try and move over to where they are so I can use the howitzers. Um, but this, this could be pretty rough. So let's get cracking. If hmm, it's going to be a tricky one to win, but if we if we lose, then the main well, as long as I do as much damage to them as possible, then it won't be too bad. Not too bad at all. But again, it all depends on where the enemy, well, not by the enemy, where my uh, troops, my reinforcements come in, because if they come in from a bad position, then we're kind of screwed. You have to kind of advance through their army to get to them. But there's no point worrying about that just yet. It might not even happen. I need to fix my cable. There we go. Okay, so. How it's behind the line, hucking as much quick climb as they can. That's kind of a bummer, because we do get defences. Which, for the most part, will be uh, probably cavalry stakes. They're the bigger concern, just getting messed up by cavalry charges rather than um, getting rather than getting charged by the enemy. Yeah, you guys deploy your stakes. Militia hunker down and hold the flank. And my general in the centre. Okay. Oh no! No! The reinforcements! No! What a terrible place to come in! If I can do something like this, it won't be as much of a loss. Comes here, comes the cavalry. Charging in the Dakani Lancers. Come on, deploy properly. And you guys dump into square. So if I do something like this, I can try and squeak my way around the side of their force here. Good. The Lancers are coming in in super slow-mo formation. Come on, there we go. I'm leaving my howitzers behind, but that's chiefly because there's not a lot I can do about it. Alright. You guys are also going to be in square. Here comes some deadly dervishes. Nope, the horsemen are going to fire at will. So we're getting hit by enemy cavalry. Let's keep pivoting my line around because the hope is I can. Okay, they're going to come charging in again. 
hope is I can keep. Run these guys around, run the militia around, run the cavalry around, check how we're doing. Howitzers, unlimber and just get unloading. Can unloading quick climb on everyone you can hit. Unfortunate that our colonial line is wavering after not many hits. Okay, run. These guys a bit closer. We're just going to have to keep running. Keep running our, our formation around. While also squaring off against their men. No, Islamic swordsmen are coming in. They're going to get overwhelmed. Let's get the cavalry in here. These guys will help, but not enough. Let's bring my cavalry in here to try and knock out their guns. No. I'm going to isolate my little reinforcing army. You guys come in and knock out their gunners. Too bad. Oh, I lost my cavalry as well. Why did so what did you charge into? The lancers. How did you not beat the lancers? Oh well. You charge in there. <laughs> Looks like we're not going to get the support we need, fellas. You stop and just fire from where you are. Gun crews be damned. So at least we've got a solid position here. Yep, yeah, here comes the elephants. Oh, my men can... No, my men are gonna just gonna keep them engaged in a big... <laughs> in in a, just a big brawl, I think. Here's my cavalry going after the lancers. I'm gonna lose a lot of cavalry this way. You poor souls. I'm gonna knock out my mortars way over there in the back. hit those musketeers these poor men nothing they could do those cavalry are going to be frustrating because they'll pick away at my troops my lancers have routed again not my lancers my cavalry have routed again even though they've still got quite a good number of men you guys drop into square those guys are done for the AI has just been able to get the drop on them. See, so look at that. The dervish is routed through my men, but then came back. It's like, ugh. Frustrating. Okay, let's pivot my infantry and my militia back. Do what you have to do to fight the dervishes off. Well, I doubt you're going to get much of a chance. Good. So you men form up.
Monica, do you wonder if I would have ended up being in a better position by not advan by not leaving my formation at all? If I just stayed in my position, at least then the cavalry wouldn't have come after me. But then again, they still would have gone after the uh, reinforcing army anyway. Throw my general in. East India Company, they're not, yeah, they're not holding off the dervishes. Let's hit these musketeer unit because I could try and curl this flank around, which would help. Regiment of Horse, you came back. Well, you never left. Throw my general in just because I just need to try and break this flank. And I, it's worth sacrificing my general chiefly because if I don't sacrifice him, he's going to die anyway. So. Because right now we're, we're losing firepower. Knock them out. I want my cavalry to come in and smash these bowmen. And this whole formation needs to fall back. Good, my cavalry, my general did rout those men. So I can take this line and push them up again. More aggressively. General is going to hopefully help finish off these bowmen. Have any general's been killed? Oh, uh, he must have got shot off of his elephant. Uh oh. Elephants are charging me. Okay, these men are going to have to pivot. The line is now severed in half. I doubt these men can flee. Look at these brave men. <laughs> Skirmishes have come in. General's bodyguard's going down. He's upset. What if I just right clicked my cat my artillery out and just was just was like, no, come with me. My cav my general can go chase down routing troops. Well my cavalry came in, that's why. That's what's turning the Turning the tide. Trip as my artillery is what I need. Yeah, we're just getting swamped now. Cavalry, get you out of here. Actually, if you can kill the Kizzle Bashi, that could be quite useful. Good. Okay, now storm up towards us. Same with my heavy cavalry. The artillery can take position ready to engage men that try and get to the breaching forces. We can form a bit of a line to act as a defence. My heavy cavalry needs to get in here and do some work. You guys form square against the horsemen. Let's pivot these guys around to the left. These guys never, they're normally that, not normally that um, keen to sacrifice their general like that. Guard to corps and general's bodyguard, you can also get involved in these combats. Chiefly because I need these guys to start facing down what's coming in after us. The general, you nail it back away from those camels. Uh, my 
general fell. The elephants, man, they're just... They are knocking over, barreling over my men. You guys run. And we're not getting any more reinforcements. So these guys are charging. God damn, even those sipoys routed. Okay, my militia is still functional. Try to get behind these defences and see if you can lure these camels, learn these uh, elephants away from us. You guys, canister shot. The troops right in front of you. Camels have hit my heavy cavalry. Let's run you out of town. They are chasing my elephants. Run! Run, militia, run! So there's my militia. You guys run behind the defences as well. I'm hoping the elephants charge us. It looks like they probably will not. Well, they might. You guys came back. You can charge those as that swordsman. You guys, get reloaded. Oh, the Hindu warriors. Come on, elephants. Come at me, bro. I assume the Hindu. I assume the elephants have the same weakness as cavalry. At least I hope. Fire at the bowmen. Charge this cavalry into the bowmen here to help protect my cuirassier. The guard de corps holding their own here. The elephants have all died before my almighty spikes. Keep okay, position to engage the bowmen. Oh no, they're bringing in their own cavalry. Blast them! Okay, oh, the bowmen, they've not actually routed yet. Okay. Get over here, militia. Get involved. Hit the Royal Indian Cavalry Guards with your last shots if you can get them in. Well, I may as well just go for the the bowmen. They're coming after you. These sepoys are going to fight the bowmen, but they're likely going to get flanked and hit by the these Hindu warriors. Let's spin my men around to attack them. Charge in my troops into the side of these bowmen. Yeah, they're all shuffling forward with their axes. But my men are doing some good damage to them. My heavy cavalry is still doing good stuff. The Hindu warriors charging in the rear was enough to make my infantry route. These horse guards winning decisively. They're getting a lot of kills. No, we fight on. Do as much damage as possible.
Build my garrison. I am happy with this elephant trick worked. Well, they are winning across the board. Keep fighting the bowman infantry. You can hold them off. The 67th. Yes, they're doing a good job. Cavalry back here are finally. Oh my god, decor are upset. My cuirassiers are still doing some good work. Although the camels are coming in to try and slow that down. Got this militia, the M they're the real MVP. Oh no, my infantry are about to get flanked by the Gurkhas. You don't want to be flanked by Gurkhas, that's not good at all. They can do great work against the bowmen from the front. Crassiers have gone, it's just that militia at the back and the line infantry here. Well, let's just speed this up because it's just going to be the, the inevitable. There they all go. Damn. That whole back, this whole corner there was such a mess. But I guess that's kind of what happens when you don't you don't get enough of a critical mass. <laughs> 18,000 men. That's what happens when you don't have a critical mass of uh, men coming on the battlefield at once. Foraging supplies. So they've taken Malwa. Fortunately for them. Oh, they've just immediately given it up. Oh, they've put one army in there. Well, they are fools, because they will still be done for. We can still end them. Dagestan demands peace. No. No peace pour vous. So, back to India. Oh, poor, poor army. Although I don't really have a lot of defences over here. Let's get you to cover the bridge towards... Back poor, you guys can't go anywhere. Although, if I put you up into here, can you demand the surrender of Kashmir? Nope. But what I can do is if I take this army here in the Rajputana, it won't draw in all of these reinforcing armies, I don't think. Even so, actually what I'd probably do is take you guys out, put you, position you nearby, This artillery can Ready and awaiting orders. probably join them, but I don't... No, I'm okay to leave it like that. So what, I, what I'm planning is if I take these men and hit Malwa, like so... I mean, we fight some of their armies, but we've got two quite strong forces this time. So my plan would be... Can I also run you guys? the guardsmen in, push my infantry up, I may as well drop these cannons up here as well. I mean critically it does mean we have to win this fight because I can take Malwa, I can take Akbarabad, and I can take Srinagar and then that will be the Mughals destroyed. So all of these chaps will just disappear. So I think I'm probably going to take this army and fight it again to try and undo a great wrong. So at the very least this time we now have a proper complement of troops and quite a decent reinforcing army that should be more than capable to knock these men out. The scales are still... well because we're only calling in... well we're not calling in this army and I think this army was involved? But it's only these three. So let's do it. Let's fight them off and prepare to uh, to knock back. Well, let's prepare to take this city back and then use that as a springboard to knock out the rest of their faction. And then we can march our armies up to the Persian border and get ready to storm into the into the uh, into the European theatre. I'm just taking my jacket off because it's warm. Okay, so the terrain's a bit dodgy, but I want to deploy back here. 
because I want to use my my mass firepower skills. I want to be able to just sit here and slaughter them and allow them to march into my guns. Because we've got some good troops here. They may eventually get overwhelmed by sheer numbers and run out of ammo and so on. But when we do, that's why we have the reinforcements. And at least we have howitzers dropping quicklime from the get-go here. Cavalry on the right, cavalry on the left, general in the centre. See, they will... I know we've attacked them, but the general rule is that if you outmatch them in artillery, then most of the time they tend not to just sit back and let you shoot at them. Switch my howitzers to quick climb, ready for these horsemen to get within range. And then just quick climb the bejesus out of them. My artillery do counter a battery work. Too bad my howitzers are all aiming at bad units to shoot at. One furthest to the right, then, can probably pick up these Royal Indian Cavalry Guards. I feel like he's opening up again, so any near misses should do some good damage here. Again, they've still not lost any of their guns. Hello, what's this? Square, hold my cuirassiers back. Yeah, the quick line's coming in. And then present. Fire. Quick line broadly missed. Then we can counter charge with my cuirassier. Let's turn these guys for it all off. Get my howitzers starting to hit more battlefield like targets. These Dakai Lancers are likely going to get shot to pieces by all my infantry as they come close. There we go. The Royal Indian Cavalry Guards have been cleared out. Want to kill them a little bit more. There we go. Just so they're shattered. You may aim at the horsemen there. Can I stop? Can I just shot the lances at point blank rate? Right? Oh no, they're routing anyway. Round shot these horsemen. Good, you're quick climbing the bejesus out of those horsemen. Are the reinf these reinforcements coming in from up here? No. Kizilbashi cavalry coming in. Well, the leading cavalry elements leave something to be desired. There we go. Now we're thinning out their numbers. Let's thin out their numbers! I am cognizant of the fact they've got cavalry up here. Yeah, no overwhelming here, matey boy. Cavalry's coming in, like skirmish cavalry. Although it looks like they want to make a make a go of it. So drop you guys into square. You'll deal with them. A 
This needs to be methodical. Brutal. This needs to be efficient. Well, the light horse are going to get hit by the charge by the lancers. That's not great. Oh, it's a lot of light horsemen dead. But now, after the merge, is where our light cavalry should start to really win through. Same with this cavalry, really. It's now, once the lines have been met, this is where we should start to see some good wins. Well, then the light cavalry's not doing so hot. Probably be okay. Switch to canister, begin engaging battlefield targets. Yeah, my light cavalry is starting to get upset. Okay, that's not great that you're firing at them. Let's bring my lances over here. I know there is an enemy threat on this flank, but dervishes aren't such a problem. Quick plans landed. That should have done some good to the Kizilbashi cavalry. Keep engaging. Just hold them off. So they made it to our front line here. These on pop it. Yeah, our cavalry broke. Ah, oh, these guys going to hit my. Other square? No. Sadly not. We'll form a new square. Okay, you guys are going to start blasting those men coming right at us. Kyrasiaeus can go after the Kizilbashi cavalry. You guys need to stop firing and start hitting... Some of these men. Oh no, elephants! Artillery's coming in from up here on the hill. That's not too bad. If these guys can beat the Kizilbashi cavalry, I'd love to get them back over onto the right to fight the elephants. But all I can think of to do is to kind of get my guys here and just start pouring fire by rank into them. You guys start to round shot the camel nomads. You guys charge the dervishes. These gunners run away. Okay, let's pivot these guys like so. Get my gunners back on their guns. All I can think of to do is just get them out of the way and just fire by rank into the general. It's going to cause problems later on, but... Charge these guys into the dervishes. These men can form the normal line. You guys canister shot the camel nomads as they come in. Oh, come on, Levy. Waver. They break, sorry. Good. They're getting a bit too close for my gunners, for my liking. Especially that kind of quick line. So these guys can now, now they've supported the right flank, you guys actually do something like this, except let's actually make our units a bit more, a bit more normal. Get my cavalry to do a long flanking manoeuvre to go hit their artillery.
Uh, my, these guns here have been... These, these guys are charging, but they're not going to chase my cavalry down. These guys need to hunker down here. Actually, they might get a bit closer. Pick new targets. So it looks like the reinforcements that are coming in now are the actual uh, depleted army we've previously fought. Because they're all coming in from over here and they're all knackered. Those mercenaries will likely not last. Keep attacking their artillery. General's bodyguard right at the back. Actually, let's not kill it. Let's let them stay on the map, routing. Let's get my heavy cavalry to charge the general's bodyguard, because four heavy cavalry versus two elephants should be doable. We could actually kill a general here. Let's turn fight. What sometimes happens is you turn fight. We'll often turn it on again. No. Doesn't seem like it's helping. Okay, try kill the general. He's routing. He should fall fairly quick. There he goes. But don't worry about the rest. Supporting arms all just try and quickline well, whoever's left, really. I think if I pull... Actually, I might have to drop this artillery more over here to cover the right-hand side of the map. It looks like we've got the other reinforcing armies coming in from back here. To be honest, because these guys are doing use, doing nothing, I may as well pull them back. Just have them withdraw, because they're bugged. It's probably then... Reform my line. Part of the reason why artillery is so valuable is because it means you... you, you it saves you a lot of... Saves you a lot of... Uh, musket ammunition down the line. You. Oh no, here, actually, here comes some quite chonky levy units. So who's back here? You might actually keep going for the General's Bodyguard. Actually, no. It is probably better I do try and actually hit some of these units coming in with artillery, lest I use up all my ammo. You're making a beeline straight for my guns though, so let's switch you to round shot and attack the Lancer specifically. No, right, canister shot the levy. They're getting dangerously close. There they go. Actually, I might put these characters here and stick them on round shot and just keep them chasing down the General's bodyguard. Canister shot the lancers because they're going to be close enough. Okay, I definitely want this unit. Bombard the bejesus out of those Gurkhas. You guys are limber. 
key hitting the Ellie's. I think I better start to convert, to pivot my line a little bit. Just to try to get a bit more firepower over here. Okay, here's more Gurkhas. Ah! Gemma's bodyguard! Run away! You fool! Sepoys are coming in from over here. Okay, good. Let's run these guys. It's going to take a long time, but run them straight over here. Because uh, they're going to be full on ammunition. Whereas the units on this flank are going to be... Oh, that's a good quick climb hit. The units on this flank are going to be a bit... Like over here. Half load. Just less than half. Supposedly we've knocked out all those chaps. So this unit here, you should be dropping shells on the general, so instead go after the Kizilbashi cavalry. Got the general, either through a musket ball or an artillery shot. Okay, general. Run you back to my. Actually, run you. No. Run you back to my line. Let's trick some of these dummies into running into my line. Who's this? Oh, it's my sipoys. Shattered. Shattered. Broken. Actually, you no, know, you can focus on. Actually, yeah, you focus on those guys. These other quick limey units focus on the right flank, particularly at this swarm of dudes coming in. Run back, General! The battlefield is no place for the likes of you! Actually, be worth pulling these guys back a bit because it looks like most of their shots are going to be hitting the ridge line. Come on, there we go. Here come the Gurkhas. Someone's still aiming at the pikemen. You guys with the with canister shots need to hit those damn Gurkhas. Gurkhas are, Gurkhas are real good. I'm not quite sure where they're going. Uh oh. Now they know. They've spotted us. Oh, that's a big chunk of Gurkhas knocked down. Ah, now it's a lot of routing Gurkhas. Phew! This is why you need to use that firepower. Fortunately, these pikemen have been dilly-dallying. If I get these sepoys up here, they cover the flank there pretty well. They mow down those pikemen. Engage! Kaboom! Don't you men know? The Mughal Empire is finished! You've chosen the wrong side! Oh, the quick climb comes in as well. Now ah, the Gurkhas are back! But they're wavering. They're, they're still charging, but they're wavering. Oh, they've had enough. Sepoys are up in position. I really don't know what these... Okay, now it looks like they might be trying to charge. No, I guess not. There they are. It's 
too bad. Deploy those men into the pike combat. Run my sepoys down here to fill in the spot. We do have some chaps back here. Horsemen, artillery, some bowmen. But it looks like we've destroyed two of the armies. Or well, maybe even three of them. We've got three enemy generals killed. Hey, they can transverse this slope. That's pretty good, cool to know. Throw more men into the pikeman combat. There we go. That woke him up. These 52 men take position behind the line. In fact, these 91 men can also take position behind the line. It looks like, though, it could be now the start of the, uh, start, finally the start of our general advance. But it's, before we count our chickens, it does look like they're still bringing in reinforcements. Let's just speed up time. Because right now this is getting a bit samey. They push up. We volley fire them. They get repulsed. Well, these bowmen seem to show remarkable resilience. Well, these men. Push up and engage. Okay, there's definitely a hidden unit here somewhere. I saw them. Now we're just going to wipe out these stragglers coming in. Something like that. Then I just want my cuirassiers just to just run. Yeah, there we go. It's the Islamic swordsmen that are hidden, but there's only 22 of them. You guys switch to round shot and begin engaging some dervishes at the rear. You guys smack the bowmen. These men are going to uh, mow down these troops. So you guys will love the bowmen. lots of these units are sufficiently weak my uh, general can have a go just ignore these smaller fry units go for the squidgy ones I mean I know they're all small fry but go for the ones that will break easier No, leave me alone, Hindu warriors. That's why all these guys are coming up, to deal with you. Although it looks like they're not going to let me go. If I just run my... Usually what happens, if I run my cavalry and I also run my cavalry away, but run my infantry up, the AI kind of goes, all right then. The general's bodyguard charged down 24 pounders. You guys all charge the Hindu warriors. These men have broken, but rather than face our line. There goes the Zimandari horsemen. My generals want to knock out the rest of their troops that stop our howitzers from firing. Is that everyone? It is. Suck it, Mughals. <laughs> Ah, oh, key to having a good strategy is to make sure you swamp their lands of so many men they can't possibly kill you all. I learnt it from the Mughals. For war. So this land is ours once more. 
sir. We can take two of these units, kick them out, place them with artillery. No, wrong, wrong army. So we must take. Actually, no, only meant to be one. No, make it two. Recruit a general. Let's get another artillery. Guard de corps, cuirassier unit. So three spaces I need. So get these two infantry out. March them up to Udaipur. And then we are going to take this army. Maybe march it around that side. And then attack Akbarabad. So they are going to have reinforcements in. Probably from here maybe. 7, 14... Yeah, that's 19 units. That's it's probably this army. Uh, so we definitely want to make sure we do it. Make sure we do it smart. But they've got a bunch of mortars. So that's going to make it uh, a bit tricky. Um, from a morale perspective. But we're going to knock out Akbarabad. And we're going to knock out Srinagar. And that's the end. But, looking at the timer, I think it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.